Okay, this video is going to show you how to make a page and insert the little contact form that will be needed so that people can pay for a class online and register without having to call you. All you're going to do is come down here to CP contact form with PayPal to get started. PayPal will allow them to pay with PayPal or pay with a credit card without even signing up for PayPal. PayPal will process all of your payments and this will send you an email letting you know that you've been paid via PayPal and the person signed up for your class. So what you're gonna do, I've already set up a generic one here. What you're gonna do is go ahead and clone that, which makes a duplicate of it. And then you're gonna come here and change the name. We'll make a Zumba class be your first class. And we're gonna go ahead and hit update after we change that. And that'll change the name. Now it says update. We're gonna go into the settings next. There's only a few things that need to be changed here. We'll go ahead and change these default to be your email address once that's set up. And in here, you're just going to put Zumba. That way, when you get the email, you know the person's automatically signed up for Zumba. We can also go ahead and set it up with different forms so that if they wanted to pay for one, this will be for one class, but if they wanted to pay for four classes, you can set it up with the default amount so that it automatically charges them for four classes or eight classes or however you'd like to set that up. This way, currently they would be paying for just one class because it is a set denomination that's added on here. So now you're gonna come down here and put in the required cost of the class. We'll say the class costs $30. This information will be updated already to have your PayPal once we sign that up. After reservation here, you're going to add the name of the class that they've registered for. That way, on their PayPal receipt, it will tell them exactly what they paid for. You're going to skip all of this because those are only open to people who pay to use this service instead of just using the free basic service, which is what we're using. And we're going to come all the way down here to where it says email cop copy to user. And we're going to change the word class here to the name of the class. That way, this is the email that is sent out to them and it will tell them that they this is the confirmation for their Zumba class so that if they're signing up for more than one class, they'll get the confirmation email for each of their classes. This is a captcha that will appear at the bottom of their screen. I already set it up with the easiest font to read and the minimal amount of background noise in order just to make it a little safer and easier so you don't have people complaining that they can't read it. And then we'll just hit save changes. Then what we want to do is go back to the item list at the top here, and now we'll see that it's here and it's settings. So this form has not actually been added onto the page yet. What we need to do is come over here and highlight this here and copy it. You can right click and say copy, or you can hit control Z C for copy. And then we're going to come over here to the pages. And I already started a page for it. It's still listed as a draft. So we're just going to click it to go in and edit it. And in here, you're going to put why people want to take this class, the benefits, obviously the time, the information, who's teaching it, all of that. You want to sell the class. Then at the bottom, you will say, to sign up online, please complete this form. With your name. In the message and phone number. The reason for that is because the form that we're using, since it's free, we can't change that it says subject and message. So we need to ask that they put their name and phone number there so that we know who they are. We will get some of that information off of PayPal, but if, for example, a girlfriend is purchasing it for her boyfriend or vice versa, or a spouse is purchasing it, you may not have the exact right name of the person who is taking the class. So let's see, complete this name. Yeah, we'll just leave that for now. And then what we're going to do, you can reword that, obviously. You're going to go ahead 
and you can right click and say paste or hit control V and paste that in. The reason you need to do that is so that it has this little ID number seven tells them exactly which form needs to be here. If you'd like them to also be able to sign up for multiple classes, we can go ahead and I'll show you how to set that up also. So once this is set up, you'll go ahead and hit publish. And I forgot to put this under its parent category, so we're going to move it. It belongs under classes and we'll hit publish. And now we can view the page. And again, normally I would right click and say view page so it opens in another tab, but for video purposes, I can't do that. So Zumba, here's all of our information to sign up online. Please complete this form with your name and message and phone number. So I'm just going to put in a fake email just so that I can get in. And we'll put my name and phone number. And then we have to fill out this little thing here. And when we hit submit, it automatically should take me right into PayPal. Because your PayPal information wasn't entered yet is why they're seeing this. Instead, what they'll be seeing is the options for PayPal, or there'll be an option over here that says pay with your credit card without signing up for PayPal. And they can use that option too if they don't wanna sign up for PayPal. Once they've completed the PayPal purchase, it'll take them right back to your homepage.